this, all of these fragrances here, make up, comprise what we call a niche perfumery. All right, and a niche perfumery is it represents a concentration of fragrances that have been picked for specific reasons. It has nothing to do with the amount of fragrance. Its value is not in the amount of fragrance that's here, but in the kinds of fragrances that are on display here. And they have been picked for any number of particular buyers, what they need, what they would like to wear. And I have selected all of them because I think that they're exceptional. Uh, I think that they fill a particular need, a particular place in a man's or woman's life. Uh, and that's why they're sitting here. Here we have Fragonard, which is, many people in America know about Fragonard, uh, based in Grasse, France. Um, more of a more of a, a, a universally recognized brand. Uh, their two most famous fragrances are what we call Gold Soleil and the Grand Soleil. Uh, this Gold Soleil is a very beautiful white floral. It's very famous, and the Grand Soleil is um, a very lush, rich. Uh, uh, Fragrance that's, it, that evokes um, a, a kind of a, almost a woody, amber, ambergris, um, very, very provocative sensation. Um, it's, it's very warm, very, very provocative, and very, uh, very exciting to wear. And I would like to use this to, to kind of present a, a, another part of this, uh, of this discussion on, on, on these fragrances, in that when we spray this fragrance, what we're doing is we're unleashing a fantastic range of associations and we stimulate the imagination profoundly, both for the woman who wears it and the man who smells it. Um, and we have it on a blotter here. It's, it's, it's drying down. The top notes are coming off. And in just a few minutes, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll get down to the, to the very lush, provocative, sultry bass notes that make this fragrance so extraordinary.